So in order to apply water slide transfers, you will need a clean cloth, a surface cleaner, water or isopropyl alcohol. If you are going to use something that has alcohol on it, make sure to check it's not going to damage your paintwork first. You also need a container of water, tap water at room temperature is fine. So preparation, always clean the surface. As I said, if you haven't got alcohol and you can use water, maybe a tiny bit of soap, just make sure it's clean and dry. As any grease or dirt trapped underneath the transfer will affect how it adheres to the tank and may cause some bubbling. So first part is to read the instructions and get your transfers ready. If you're doing multiple, both sides of the tank, only do one at a certain time. Something to note, never flat the surface. Uh, this will cause the transfers to uh, bubble. And if you have just painted your tank, remember, leave it at least a week so the paint fully cures as any air, gases will bubble underneath the transfer as well. So never flat the surface leave paint to dry for a week. So once you've read your instructions, now we need to immerse the transfers in water. To so said, do one transfer at a time. So get your container of water. And immerse the transfer for a minimum 45 seconds. This can take two to three minutes, sometimes even longer. It just depends on the transfer. And to test if it's ready, to slowly take the transfer out of the water and very, very lightly press your thumbs against the design. And in a minute, you'll be seeing me try to do this and if it slides around, it's ready. If it isn't starting to slide, you need to put it back in the water. Do not force it, otherwise it will damage and probably tear the transfer. So my first attempt, straight away I can see that's not moving. I'm not going to force this, put it back in the water for another 30 seconds to 45 seconds should probably do the trick. And I've left it for that time. And now, as you see, it's about to slide around. All our tra water slide transfers have a varnish layer, which allows you to slide the design around. It's extremely thin, so just be very careful. We do still recommend an overcoating with a lacquer, though, as ethanol and petrol will damage these transfers, even with this varnish layer. So the benefits of water slide transfers is because of the varnish layer, you can align the transfer much easier than some vinyl ones. You've got a bit more leeway. And the backing wax card is square, so it kind of helps for alignment them anyway. And I always start from the narrower ends, the design, and just very, very carefully pinch a corner or a side and slowly remove the waxed backing card from underneath, keeping it as flush to the tank as possible. The flush, the more flush it is, the less likely you are gonna have as many air bubbles trapped underneath the varnish there. And throw this waxed card away. So now comes the tricky part. Very gently with your thumb or finger, you want to sort tease out any air bubbles in the design. It's hard to notice them here, but the hardest areas are where the varnish layer is not covering the design, i.e. the gaps in the middle. They often crease and it's just carefully going over them, getting all those little creases out, teasing all the air bubbles out very gently, extremely gently as these are so thin, they will break very easy. You can see I just moved it there. But you can tease that back out and straighten the design again quite easily. So as lightly as possible, just go over the design 
tease out the air bubbles and any creases. Take your time. Now allow 24 hours to fully dry and then you can properly go over the design. But right now this, I'm just using a cloth just to get rid of some of this excess water residue, just very gently. And then 24 hours time, I'll go over, clean it properly. Any dried gum around the design, we can clean them when it's adhered properly. But it's just very, very lightly going over, getting rid of that excess water residue. And don't forget to overcoat these as ethanol in modern fuels will damage the transfers. If you're unsure on what overcoating products to use, visit our website for more information.